After yet another rocky start to the season, the New York Jets are finally at a crossroads about their future. They're facing critical decisions, especially regarding the quarterback they once believed would lead them to glory Aaron Rodgers. Coming into this season, Rodgers' legendary skill and impressive track record were expected to be the magic ingredient to end the Jets' playoff drought, which has lasted an incredible 133 years. But rather than a fairy tale turnaround, things took a sharp dive. The Jets invested everything in Rodgers only to find themselves dealing with a huge financial setback and a dwindling hope of recovering next season. So what's the plan now? Let's dive into the Jets' strategy moving forward, breaking down each decision and its potential impact on their future. From the start, the Jets were counting on 2024 to be their year, expecting Rodgers to be the key to finally breaking their long-standing playoff curse. But as reality set in, so did disappointment, with the Jets now at a challenging 3-7 record, nearly eliminated from both the division race and the playoff picture. Despite all the excitement, Rodgers' performance has been a key factor in the team's struggles. It brings us to the big question, is it time for the Jets to part ways with their former MVP quarterback? Interestingly, despite this turbulent season, it appears the Jets may be doubling down on Aaron Rodgers for the long term. According to Yahoo Sports insider Charles Robinson, when the Jets made the trade for star wide receiver Devontae Adams, they made a serious commitment to Rodgers, one that could keep him around for a while. Robinson reported that Adams only agreed to the New York trade on the condition that Rodgers would stick with the team through the 2025 season. In effect, the Jets may have just secured their partnership with Rodgers for the next two years, even if things don't turn around anytime soon. However, there is still a chance for a change in direction. The Jets' front office might decide to shake things up if the season doesn't improve dramatically. And if they choose to make sweeping adjustments, Rodgers could find himself on the way out along with Adams, Lazard, and a few other seasoned veterans. Rodgers, for his part, hasn't held back on expressing his frustration with the team's focus and execution. Yet, he remains hopeful that the Jets can still turn things around. In a recent interview on the Pat McAfee Show, Rodgers admitted that most of the team's issues have been self-inflicted. This raises the question, is this a pivotal moment for the Jets, or simply another stumble in a season that's already spiraling downward? Rodgers put it bluntly, it feels like we're battling ourselves out there. If we stop getting in our own way, we could be a truly dynamic offense. But too often, we're the ones making mistakes this sentiment has sparked a growing call among fans and analysts for Rodgers to be benched or even traded, with some suggesting that Tyrod Taylor could step in, as there's seemingly nothing left to lose. Maybe Taylor could bring the spark the team needs, and honestly, many fans can understand that perspective. Rodgers is running out of excuses, and with each passing week, it seems like he might be hanging on too long. His performance has been slipping, the Jets' record is worsening, and he's spending more time explaining things to the media than making plays on the field. So, where does Rodgers stand mentally? The statistics are grim, and the Jets are stuck in a tough spot financially, no matter what they decide. We're talking about a massive $49 million in dead money for next season if Rodgers stays, a cost that could impact the team for years to come. Even if he retires, the Jets are still on the hook for that sum. There's a way to spread it over two years, $14 million in 2025 and $35 million in 2026, but even that is a financial headache. If they decide to release him outright without a June 1st designation, the hit balloons to around $100 million in dead money as the Jets attempt to rebuild from scratch. Yet, the financial strain is only part of the equation. There's also the public reaction and the impact on player morale to consider. And it's not just the fans and finances that are feeling the strain. The players, too, are starting to express their frustrations. Take Mike Williams, for instance. After he was traded from the Jets to the Steelers, he quickly made an impact, catching a touchdown pass in a thrilling 2-8-2-7 victory over the Washington Commanders. But it was his Instagram post after the game that caught everyone's attention. Alongside a picture of his touchdown, he added the word thankful followed by the hashtag Ryan. That wasn't just a random tag, it was a subtle dig at Rodgers, who had previously criticized his receivers for not running routes correctly in a loss against the Buffalo Bills. In that post-game moment, Rodgers specifically called out Mike Williams, saying, There are two verticals Allens down the seam, and Mike's supposed to be on the red line. I'm looking back to make a no-look pass down that line, but Mike's running an in-breaker instead. He needs to be on the red line, so what is this red line? 
It's a five-yard boundary on practice fields designed to create a space for quarterbacks to throw vertical routes accurately. When Williams scored his touchdown with the Steelers, he ran the route precisely down that red line a clear jab at Rodgers. However, when asked about Rodgers afterward, Williams kept things professional. He acknowledged Rodgers' attention to detail and the challenges of mid-season adjustments, but it had to sting for the Jets, watching Williams succeed just as their own offense struggled to even score. This season has left many questioning Rodgers' place in the team. Sure, he's still capable on the field, but all the drama and distractions he brings with him are making him more of a burden than a benefit. And what about the head coach, Robert Sala? From the start, many saw him as a scapegoat for the Jets' problems. The team was close to a win against the Vikings until Rodgers' critical mistakes cost them the game. Then, when Rodgers insisted on bringing in some of his veteran friends, the result was a roster that seemed a shadow of its potential. It's similar to what happened with Tom Brady's success at Tampa Bay, a legendary quarterback transforming a struggling team, but that case was unique. Brady was an anomaly, and the Jets seemed to have forgotten that fact. History rarely favors aging quarterbacks turning teams around, and the Jets took a massive gamble on a highly unlikely scenario. So now, here we are. Rodgers has had his say, the team has made trades to support him, and yet the Jets continue to struggle. The team's struggles on offense can't just be blamed on the defense. Their recent game saw them scoring a mere six points. This falls squarely on the offense and by extension on Rodgers. And let's revisit Mike Williams for a moment. He's known as one of the least dramatic team-oriented receivers in the league. For Rodgers to publicly call him out like that was unprofessional and damaging. Any player, especially one as committed as Williams, would naturally be frustrated by having his name dragged through the mud in front of the media. Such issues should be handled privately, not in post-game press conferences. Rodgers' actions have cast a negative light on himself and the Jets alike. Now the Jets are facing a major decision. Do they stick with Rodgers, absorbing the financial fallout and hoping he can somehow turn things around, or do they part ways, taking a huge hit but potentially setting the stage for a fresh start? This decision carries a lot of weight, both for Rodgers and for the future of the Jets. They've already made big moves to build the team around him, but with pressure mounting and his performance declining, the future looks uncertain. Rodgers is undeniably talented, but his off-field controversies and divisive behavior are starting to overshadow his abilities. And that wraps up our look at the New York Jets' challenging season and the questions surrounding Aaron Rodgers' future with the team. As we've seen, the Jets are in a tough spot with major financial commitments, rising frustrations, and high stakes for the future. Rodgers is at the center of it all, a player with undeniable talent, but also a figure now surrounded by complex decisions and controversies. So what's next for the Jets? Should they continue to support Rodgers, banking on his experience and potential to pull through, or would a fresh start be the wiser move, even with the cost that comes with it? It's a decision that could shape the franchise's direction for years. We'd love to know what you think. Do you see a path forward with Rodgers or is it time for a bold new approach? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. If you found this analysis insightful, make sure to hit that like button to show your support and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any updates as this story develops. We'll be following every step of this saga and bringing you the latest on the Jets, Rodgers and the NFL at large. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.